Hello and welcome to Space Shark Teaches. I'm Sean, owner and lead developer of Space Shark Studios, and in this series we're going to be teaching Godot. First things first, I want to go over what we're going to be covering in this class. Uh, to start with, we're going to be learning about the Godot or Godot engine in general. Um, first off, being that it is Godot or Godot or Godot, I've seen all sorts of different ways pronounced online at this point. Just for simplicity, I'm going to be saying Godot because it's quicker for me to say without having to think every time I need to talk about the engine. Next, we're going to be using visual scripting for the entirety of this series. So Godot has a visual scripting interface. Um, it seems to be pretty good and it is easier for new first time game designers who don't have any uh, programming experience. So if you have not programmed before, this is probably a good place to start. As for what we're going to be making, we're going to start off by making a basic 2D platformer. Uh, this lets us learn about Godot's nodes, the basics of scripting in their visual scripting language, the basics of scripting in general, as well as things like physics, uh, how you set up your scene, all that sort of good stuff. From there, we're going to be moving on to an infinite runner since it's kind of the next logical progression from a 2D platformer. And then from there, we're going to be going to a 2D top-down adventure game, sort of an old school Legend of Zelda sort of situation. This will teach a different way to interact with a player character as well as different ways for your player to interact with the world. After that, we're going to move on to a Pong or Brick Breaker style game, depending on if you want to go two player or single player. And then finally, we're going to round it off with 3D basics. Now, visual scripting is probably not the best for making a game in 3D altogether. So I would recommend if you're going to be making 3D in the long term, learn coding. So learn some sort of text-based scripting language. Um, 2D, you can kind of get away with it because you're dealing with fewer dimensions and fewer interesting edge cases, I'll say. Um, but I still suggest learning the visual scripting because it's an easy way to throw something together quickly. So after getting going through the 3D basics, we'll be moving on to how to make your game available for everyone. This includes how to build your game for different platforms, as well as how to release it on one of the existing platforms. We'll probably be covering itch.io just because it's the easiest, but if you want to make a game for Steam or GOG or even one of the consoles, this would be a good place to start, even if I won't be going all the way into that full process. There are plenty of other videos online on the process of publishing a video game. Um, but that's going to be it for this introduction. That's it for this lesson. Thank you for watching, and this has been Sean with Space Shark Teaches.